kinging it. Rule your own world in New Zealand. Episode 30. I've been punk sitting in our town. Evening. So I've just finished work and now we've arrived at the house that we're going to dog sit in, in Arrowtown. And the dogs are called Charlie and Toby and there is a cat called Socks as well. So I'm excited for Craig to meet them. Ooh. Sorry, Hi, Hello. 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 Hey guys. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Look at these fluff balls. Who's who? Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Toby. Oh, no, we pooed on the floor. That's okay. She said you might have some little. You left some surprises. Look at this little guy. He sucks. You ever seen a cat get on with dogs before? Hey guys, party! Woo! He's cleaning up the poo. Good woman. King of it. <laughs> Let me see that face. Let me see that face. Oh! oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not to leave the door open in the toilet because the cat gets in the toilet. <laughs> what do you mean? Like swims in there? I'm not sure. I'm just no, 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 I'm not allowed to leave it. Do you like to swim in the toilet? Yeah, you do. So I like to do stroke my food while I'm eating it. Oh, it's so soft. I think they must be stereotyping. Look at the DVD they've left out for us. Gavin and Stacey. Just because we're from Barry doesn't mean we like the show. What's occurred in? You not like the camera? <laughs> Coming for you. Coming for you. <laughs> So today is a very special day for me. Yes, it is. Today is seven years old coming here from cancer. Seven, seven years, years! Seven years. years! It's kind of weird talking about it because it still doesn't feel like it happened to me. I feel like it's my birthday today. So, in a nutshell, it was here where that scar is. Is it on that side? Was it on that yeah, side? Yeah, and it spreads, it was in my neck and in my chest, and it was called Hodgkin's lymphoma, if you've never heard of that before. So I had six months worth of chemo, uh, all my hair fell out, and my toenails fell off. Yeah. So this is Merlin. Merlin didn't quite grow back how we wanted him to, wasn't up to the challenge. But he is the only side effect that I've had from having cancer, so I am sincerely lucky. So yeah, it happened a really long time ago and I think I've forgotten most of the bad parts now, which is good, I suppose. But if you know me, you know that I've got like early dementia. I'm not really, but I have them. So I met Amy when she was going through chemo. She had a little bald head, she wouldn't show me. She had a nice blonde wig on. Yeah. <laughs> we met a few days before I was due to leave to go traveling myself to Australia. So we kept in contact. And then this day seven years ago, Amy texted me about three in the morning saying, I've got your clear, I've got my tickets. Where did you go? Ready to go to Aussie. Where you at? Sydney, baby. So Amy flew out then in the December and we did a four week trip down the East Coast. It was the best four weeks ago. So good. So good. Look at this picture, we look like twins. So I'll link the video here for my full story if you want to see it. I want to dedicate this video to the friends and family that I've lost along the way. I also want to dedicate it to my friends that are still fighting now. Um, it doesn't matter what comes your way, I know you're going to be able to fight it and I'll leave my you for that. So there's a deeper meaning to King in it. It's not just about travelling, it's about how you live your life. Like living life to the fullest, making people smile. Do whatever you want, whenever you want. Just remember to rule your own world. Woo! Can you it? So, because it's Amy's special day today, I got a little something special. 
Look how pretty it is. Nice little silver number. I love it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Nice sign, kid. Thank you very much. Where you been? Egypt. Egypt. <laughs> Where was my invite? Dungeon dry bro still. <laughs> no. Nowhere. Tried to cover them up this morning. What are we doing today? We are going river boarding. What's that? It means that you get on a board, put on a wetsuit, and they chuck you down a river with a instructor. It's supposed to be really scary though. My friend said she went and her boyfriend, like, the current drug dragged her under. Guaranteed Amy gets travel sick. Don't mention it. You I need to scoff a load of ginger, like our mate said. I don't have any friends. Breath. It's alright. Ginger girls, ginger breath. So because we know travel sick Tracy likes to make an appearance whenever Amy's doing anything that involves motion, um, we had a comment on YouTube off um, Crafts... Hold on. Off Crafts Manani saying that he swears by ginger. Ginger works great for that. Ginger as in like sushi ginger, the raw stuff. Because Amy takes... You take tablets, don't you? But they never work. I ha I've grown up with this. Like school trips, I was sick on my friend who sat next to me. But yeah, no, I've tried tablets, I've tried ginger biscuits, I've tried those little pearl things that you put on your wrists, whatever that is. It doesn't work. Sick as a dog. So let's get you some ginger, see if it works. So today I'm sporting the King in It grey number. We've had loads of orders for t-shirts. Um, we're still taking orders and we're going to announce the winner of the free King in It t-shirt at the end of this vlog, so stay tuned. How exciting! <laughs> so we had some sad news last week, which we didn't put in the vlog, um, but our housemate James actually broke his collarbone. Bloody idiot! Snowboarding. Don't do it, kids. So James, we're posting this to you today, kid. He's ordered a nice burgundy number. Let me see the back. Burgundy. <laughs> Bring it. Oh, you make a swift recovery, pal. Who do you think you are, having milk out of that? Just a celebration. <laughs> Strongest bones in the land. Look, girls, there's my flower. So when I was diagnosed, um, a bunch of my friends got the tattoo of the little emblem sign for Hodgkin's lymphoma. They had them tattooed on them. I thought it was really, really nice. It's called Periwinkle. <laughs> We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. James, the teacher has just been posted, so look out for that in the mail. In the mail. <laughs> we are on our way to the station to get picked up for riverboarding. It has stopped raining. Fantastic news. I'm getting hungry though. We didn't get you any ginger. Oh. Do you want to get some? You lick my eyebrows and I'll lick you. <laughs> Got a hole in your shoe there, mate. I saw Merlin can't breathe. We've just been picked up. Yeah, and now we're going to drive to the top of the river. <laughs> but we're going to get in and go down it. I just want to feel really, really nervous. The guide's talking about like, how dangerous it is and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, how dangerous it is. That's what I said. I'm so good. So we've just arrived, just about to have our safety briefing. Guys, uh, Feeling a bit nervous, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Tim, myself. Uh, here we have it, the cover our river, guys, and uh, we're just gonna start down there. So we've had our brief, now we're getting our kit on. How do you feel? I want to open it with a cry. Like, really? It looks really scary. I've just got a feeling I'm gonna be like dragged under and stuff, and they said you can't be. There's whirlpools and you can be dragged under. Yeah, but it'll only be like a second or two and then yeah, you just pop out. You've got no control on that and that's scary. You got a body board, just don't let go of it. You'll be fine. Don't be worried. Don't be worried. You can't help it. Craig only got little feet. Little side step and ballerina feet. Sure. Boards and we get flippers. Cold. World, ta world championship belt. It's not going to be that cold. Oh, it's just the snow like melted off the mountains. That's fine. Glacial fed. This is 
is going to be us in about 10 minutes. We're getting strapped in. Nice and tight now so I don't float away. You look like a ballerina. <laughs> so I've got this little ear that sticks out. It's got my elf ear. It looks like I've been like picked up by my ear as a child. I'm just complaining because it's stuck up with the helmet. So I've got this. So we're all done riverboarding. It's absolutely class. A little bit cold, but these wetsuits kept us warm. It was bloody scary though. Like I went through one. All these rapids came, like smashed me in the face. I took a massive gulp of it, and then my board smacked me in the head when another one came. I saw it all. I hope I got it on the GoPro. I haven't seen it yet. I did panic and then the guy came and got me and I was like, Meh. It was so good. Got to do a rock jump as well, which was pretty cool. Not me though. I went all up my nose though. That's why I sound like I got a cold. But yeah, my hands were absolutely frozen to death. Like everything else was covered and it was fine. But yeah, it's such a good fun. Like, so cool. The scenery was mental as well, wasn't it? So, so cool. Oh, just floating down the river. It's so cool. Thanks, Thanks Neil. Neil. I'm stuck. <laughs> Look at that bounce. <laughs> Don't look pretty. Bloody gorgeous. They've told us that there's drinks and candy bars in the back of this van, so he's obviously already in there. <laughs> Have you found? <laughs> what, what is it? I don't know. Where'd you open it? Look like a little elf. No. <laughs> Can you do it? I'm so starving now, so there's only one thing to do. Food burger! We just got home to a letter. Craig and Amy at the King Knit HQ. Wanna do the honours? Yeah! I wonder who it's for. Aww. <laughs> oh. oh, that's amazing. Look, it looks just like him. Okay, so we're away. Obviously, we're in New Zealand. And while we're away, our BFFs, Josh and Holly, got married. And then this is just a little to celebrate our happily ever after. We were inviting you drinking and some dancing yeah so they're gonna have a little um, wedding party back in Cardiff but it's lovely that they sent us an invite we didn't say congratulations when we should have but congratulations guys super happy for you go we couldn't be there but thanks for the invite look they've got crowns on that's amazing <laughs> look at that picture it looks just like them that's what they were on their wedding day that's so cool man king in it oh I know Sorry we couldn't be there guys. I would have absolutely loved it. I hope you had the best wedding ever. So Ferg Burger just happened. 
Yeah, we did. This is what I got. Why are you showing me this? It's the Southern Swine, so it's like massive burger, bacon, cheese, mayonnaise, and avocado. I'll slap my burger. Happy cancerversary, babes. Thanks very much. How are you feeling? Good. Yeah. Really good. I've seen most of the comments on Facebook. Just gotta get back to them all. I cry, I cry. A lot of love, didn't it, man? A lot of love. Awesome. So, um, we are dog sitting in Arrowtown. So, we went to the shop and bought loads of munchies and ciders and stuff. Check all this out. Some sushi, some crisps, some cider, drinking, driving. It's actually a different dog to the other two dogs that we were house sitting. It's like mental dog wick. This is Felix, you could probably hear him. He's afraid of his own shadow. He's a schnauzer. And he holds a lovely little place in my heart because my dog at home is a schnauzer prop. Let's go see him. Yes. Hi, Felix. Oh, 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 we've come for a sleepover. Just like Eddie, my friend Pearl's dog. Beautiful boy. Yes, you are. And we're going to play with you all night and we're going to have sleepover. Look how sure. excited he is. <laughs> Denied. Side is in the sun. Cheers. Cheers. This kid doesn't even want to sit with us. Cool. You can't sit with us. Afternoon. So today we are going to a bird park. Is that what it's called? It's called Kiwi Life Bird Park or something. Loads of kiwi birds there. They're nocturnal, but I think they just give them a poke and wake them up so we can see them. Yeah. It's a family-run business and they've got some of the most rarest birds in the world. That's the place uh, Sarah went when she came to visit. It was actually her birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, Sarah. Happy birthday. We had the top day. Right oh, then, to the bird park. Let's go to this bird park. If anyone can perfect Amy's walk, we'll give you a free t shirt. Yes. Are we going the right way? I can hear something. But you don't poop on you. Excited. We're gonna be pro -bird birdians after this. Pro birdians. It's definitely not a word. We've just got our maps and our headphones. Got a little audio tour gear. <laughs> this place is massive. I didn't think it was this big. Yeah. It's like a mini zoo with birds. So um, yeah. I'll show you around. Hey, birdie. We just went in and seen the kiwi birds, which I really wanted to see. I literally thought they were like this big, but he was massive. He came towards the like screen and I was like, oh my god. How big was he? It's like this. It wasn't that big. No, like his body was this big. It was a bit smaller, right? And then his beak was like this long. But it was very dark, so we couldn't really see his like cute little face. But yeah, it's amazing. This is what they look like. See, that's not like I thought he was that big. So we've just got to the only living dinosaur in the whole world. Here he is. This guy has been around for 200 million years. How good is that? Are you lying? Honestly. Well, not him, but the species is 200 million years old. So his dad was run his dad's dad's dad was running around with the dinosaurs. What do you think about that? Do you reckon he was in the land before time? <laughs> The size of these trees. Ah! This is an act this actual size of the largest bird in the world. How mental is that? Did that come into your face? Nowhere near. Nowhere near. You'd have you fair and square in a fight. Stop kissing him. Laughing owl. He's extinct. Don't laugh. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is Amy's bird. Yeah. More pork. Give me third cup more pork. Some more pork. <laughs> Look at these guys. Where's the pork at? <laughs> 
No. Go on, what are you going to say? <laughs> so the mole pork owl. If he was born in China, and Chinese people don't eat pork, oh, well, where'd you get that what's he going to do? Where, where'd you get that from? They eat pork in China. No, it's certain religion. Yeah, but it's not China. What is it? Is Chinese. it? No, Hindu, Hinduism. They don't eat pork. Say his mother was a Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> Comical Kia. Bless him. Thinks he's funny, this one. He's a bit... He's got some spider webs on him. Ah! I had you. <laughs> no, you never. Oh, wow, look at him. Oh, yeah, I can't see. Right by there. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. He's Hi. amazing. What, what are you supposed to do? I'm not sure. Do you think he might peck me? <laughs> His tongue's such a nice finger. It feels like a rubber something or other. Oh, he's getting a bit. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that bird just chomped my finger, so we left. <laughs> I'm having fun, yeah. Who say? Wee. There's a pigeon then. <laughs> Can't take this kid anywhere. The walk on these fellas. Hey, my name's Kathy. I'm a supermodel. I get the legs from my mom. <laughs> He's gone! He's gone. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oi! Look at him go! Buff whacker. Been on the roids. Must be bloody freezing. I could take the animal that I have in my tool box here up to it. Filtara is the mine on our offshore islands. The rats don't manage to get us. Every single animal we train, oh every single God. one. For the first, we call it the pay for money behaviour, Amy. Which means we need something from you, Amy. Okay. Just a little bit of pay for money over to you, Amy. She's going to walk down your arm. She's going to take your $5 note and she's going to bring it back to me. <laughs> and I'm going to make your money disappear. <laughs> Hey, we are going to bring it back. Uh, you're going to pull it back on your own. <laughs> Whoa! What? what is it? This is a size kiwi egg. So this is an x-ray of a kiwi bird with an egg in it that's just about to give birth. Okay, cool, thank you. Look at the size of that. Yeah, well, because... I just finished in the bird park. It was a top afternoon. Yeah, it was lovely. They're so cute, like... All the little ones, all the noises they make, and there's a possum at the end, and the other pink nose. Pretty <laughs> awesome. Thanks for that, Paul. Thank you so much. If you're in Queenstown, go to the bird park. It's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time! For the king in it, t shirt giveaway. So we're gonna do this fair and square. Okay, no fighting, no punch ups. We're gonna pick names out of a hat. Ready? When you are. Contender, run it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Get outside. Get outside. Oh my god. What are you eating? You're stinking. Onion crisp. <laughs> Onion crisp, that is foul. Close that door. You're grounded. Please know, no t-shirts were harmed in the making. They were not in the vicinity when Craig farted. So we had loads of entries, loads of pictures, loads of emails. So thanks everyone for sending them in. Loads of tags on Instagram. So what we've decided to do to make it fair and square is we're gonna write everybody's name down, everyone's Instagram name, and then we're gonna put them all in this hat, obviously, and we're gonna pull one out. So good luck, everybody. We have to write everyone's names down now, it's going to take us about an hour. Well done everyone for King in it! Loved all the stories! Well done! Good luck! It's saying we had one job, and this is what she's done. So she's written the names this side, and she's written them that side, so we can't cut them out. Shut up, you can wipe them out again. <laughs> so they're all chopped up, they're in the King in it hat, and Amy B is about to pick a winner. Give him a little shuffle. 
Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? I have one. And the winner, on the proud owner of a new King in It t-shirt is, it's an Instagrammer, Anita Linor. Congratulations! <laughs> well done, my lovely. Just give us a message, let us know what colour and size you want, and it's coming your way. Yeah, buddy. King in it. King in it. Rule your own world. I'm just like the best cars you can ever have. Look, look, that's like 450 years old and it still goes. The last Honda you had, you smashed it up.